we're back. Freshly out of the shower. It has been about one month in my voluntary homelessness, as one would call it, and self-employment, or as others would call it, unemployment. And this video, we're going to talk about what I've learned. literally slept on my sleeping bag last night because I just finished laundry. There it is. And I didn't put the sheets back on so I could just pack it up in my suitcases. Everything's kind of a mess. This is all I'd have to pack really though. This is everything I brought with me from Hawaii. So not a whole lot. Let's get her done. Where am I staying? I've been car camping, Airbnb, staying with the best friends and family, couch surfing. And that brings me to what am I doing for work? So I'm not completely unemployed. I am on a mission to do what makes me happy and hopefully make money while I'm at it. Phone is ringing. Did I just change? Yes, I did because I remembered that I had this and I still hadn't worn it. I got it from this cute little thrift shop in Denver. And don't know when the next chance I can even wear this. So might as well use it for a YouTube video to justify the purchase. What was I? Doing what makes me happy. So the journey was working for a dog kennel, which was awesome. I learned a lot. It was intense, but I wasn't getting paid. And I did just buy this brand new car. It's a used car, but still a good chunk of money. And I was not making money. And the reality of everything was hitting me that I was working lots of physical work, hard work, <laughs> pooping scoop, landscaping, fence repair, all kinds of things. It was so nice to be around the dogs and remote in the homestead setting. It was lovely to be in the woods and to just drive on the dirt roads, but I still had expenses. I needed to pay them somehow. I had to pay off the car. I needed to buy groceries and pay for gas. And I still want to save up for all the other things I want to do in life and travel and all that. So got out of there, worked at the inn for a few months. Housekeeping is not my jam. They just accepted me with open arms when I really needed to shout out to Lou for connecting me with everybody there. So I'm very grateful, but that was a short term fix. <laughs> so amidst all of that, I was in a play and that reignited this spark for performing arts. And that's basically what I'm doing now. I'm picking up acting gigs, marketing jobs, um, brand work, event work. And then I have so many more gigs lined up, which will come in later videos. But I just wanted to catch everyone up for now. Whoever's watching this, who even cares what I'm doing? But I'm really doing this for me and to document my life. I can look back on it and laugh about it. I'm currently cat sitting in Chicago in this cute little brick apartment building by the lake. Yesterday was super windy and I got to actually hear the waves crashing from here, which was beautiful. I'm going to try and keep doing this for as long as my money will last me. I'm hoping that I can make it a little more sustainable, a little more consistent income wise. This is the most I have not planned my life out and it's kind of it's scary, but it's also so liberating. Truly go with the flow. I think in the past I've forced a lot of things to happen. But I'm just seeing closed doors and anything that I have to force as an opportunity elsewhere for the flow to flow freely and happily and peacefully rather than hitting your head against the wall type of thing. We're letting go of that. I wrote this a few days ago. I wrote, it's been a month since my last journal entry, a month of freedom, a month on the road, a month of figuring it out as I go. What have I learned? The cost of this initial freedom is instability. And I know it's only temporary because I'm figuring it out. And I truly believe that if I continue to do what makes me happy, stability, at least financial stability will come. 
emotional stability. I think that I don't know if that will ever happen, but I'm stable enough to stay alive and stay healthy and well enough. I wrote, I'm playing a game of chess. Always having to plan my next move. Kind of fun, kind of stressful, all of the above, you know? So that's where I'm at. So while I am letting go of plans, I still need to know where I'm going to sleep tomorrow. But it's all part of the experience. And the strategy just gets more and more refined. I'm in this refinement process in my life. And I think I, it happens every few years or so in dramatic ways. Or not. I am capable of so much. Being unchained from any sort of in-person job or rents to pay. I can literally do whatever work I want, wherever I want, as of now. Because I'm not in it too much debt. That's the lingering fear behind my head. Is just like, did it. But right now I'm okay. And I have this flexibility. Because I'm not chained to anyone or anything or any job. The production in in Minnesota it was worth it <laughs> to me. That's why I stayed there until it was done. But now I'm free and looking for other creative work to pursue and focusing on me and all that. I know it sounds very selfish, but I honestly think that for us to be the best version of ourselves for the world, we need to nourish ourselves and tend to our health and wellness and well-being in whatever ways we need. For me, I really am not a structure person. I don't like being given a schedule for things. So I needed to get out of that. For other people, it could look different. So it's just nice to be Angelina Unchained. The options are overwhelming and exciting. The world is our oysters. There's so much opportunity out there, so many people to meet, so many things to do, so many things to see. But one thing at a time, and I am practicing not trying to get ahead of myself and try to do a million things. I think in the past I used to try to squeeze more things than necessary into a schedule. Letting that go and more so following my gut. If it feels like too much or overwhelming or tiring or any bit exhausting, I'm taking it as a sign. And it's just been nice to be able to reflect on what really matters at the end of the day. I'm just checking that I'm recording. Oh, yes, I'm recording. Look at this cute outfit. I'm spending money just as much as I'm making it. So I need to up my income. Talk about that. I'm seeing what kind of remote work I could do in addition to all of these gigs that I'm getting because it would just be nice to have some kind of steady and predictable amidst all of this unpredictability and chaos. So I'd like to do something more in the health and wellness space because I'm very passionate about that and it's a priority for me right now and it probably always will be. I put some feelers out. I have dropped my resume and cover letter with some companies and we'll see what becomes of it. But then again, there's that other part of me that like really needs flexibility. So ideally I can have a flexible job and flexible hours that also provides some consistent income if I hit a certain amount of hours. I know that's a lot to ask, but putting the energy out there to make it happen. There are a lot of good hearted people in the world is also what I'm learning. I've been so grateful and lucky and blessed to be around good people and I just want to put that out there into the YouTube world because there's a lot of negativity and sadness and things that are so depressing and frustrating, infuriating that's put into media. And it's not enough that the good hearted people are brought to light. And I just want to put it out there that they exist. I know I'm surprised too. I'm surprised too. They exist. And I hope that you can come across one of them, a few of them, multiple of them. All you need is one to really bring you hope. The instability of all of this is 100% worth it. I think it's worth it. Despite the financial insecurity and being a little stressed about where I'm going to be tomorrow, it's all worth it because of this freedom and flexibility that I can have to live this way and to pursue my creative passions. If I was working full-time somewhere, I couldn't do it. I couldn't be traveling as much as I do and taking these house-sitting opportunities and meeting the coolest couch surfers and seeing family I haven't seen, friends I haven't seen. I would not be able to do it if I didn't sacrifice the stability that comes with a full-time job. And so where I worked in Minnesota, they provided housing, which I'm so grateful for. But that locked me in. I'm just locked in. I don't like to be locked in. Eventually, I would like to plant roots. I'm excited to but I don't know where that is yet and I need to find it. And once I find it, it'll be nice. It'll be great. 
I feel like I'm living the life I want to live and finally building up to the life I want to have in the future without being limited to an unhappy or limiting, restrictive current situation. I understand that I come from a very privileged place to be able to do this because not everyone can up and go. And a lot of people have families and one day I want to have a family, but while I don't, I feel like I need to take advantage of this opportunity to be unchained, to see the world. And even with the family, I believe that I can do it. We can do it together. Live this fun life of travel and exploration and discovery that's not restricted by a specific job or rent. And hopefully one day not restricted by financial limitations. Those are my takeaways and I'm super grateful for this time in my life to do this and all the people I've met and caught up with and there's only more to come. October is going to be a very busy month with more travels and I will catch you up on that. Stay tuned for all of the videos that I'm going to create for each region that I visited. So there was Minnesota, Twin Cities, and then Chicago, and then there's Miami and Fort Lauderdale and Bonita Springs, and then there's Denver and Fort Collins. Yeah, thanks so much for listening. Let me know what your thoughts are on living this kind of nomadic gypsy lifestyle. <laughs> I've been called a gypsy. I hope I'm not being offensive. My intentions are only good. <laughs> I take it as a compliment. Oh, I should probably address safety. I don't go at night alone. I don't go at night, period, really. Unless I'm with a friend. I don't go out at night alone. I just don't do it. Like when the sun's down, you can't find me. I'm hibernating and in a safe place. All your instincts, be prepared for like anything, like have an exit plan. Safety, wellness first, please. <laughs> Peace and love to you all. Is this how you even vlog? I just felt like I was rambling and I apologize. <laughs> how do you vlog? Do people just talk about what they did? How do you make it fun? Please leave your advice and critique and insight in the comments because I don't know what I'm doing, but I like documenting shit and it'll be fun to look at and although cringy for me could be helpful for someone who knows people put everything on the internet these days so you can help me out though you can help, help a girl out with what she can work on thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you happy fall